What is going on, everybody? It's been a while, but let's not talk about it. Today, we are going to take a look at Natalie Lynn, one of her videos. And the reason is because my video that I did on Max. Honestly, thank you guys for watching because there's a lot of you guys that actually have come from that or subscribed. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, Max. Thank you for commenting if you ever do see this. But yeah, I actually got a comment on there saying, I want to know your opinion on Natalie Lynn videos. And I remember watching one of her videos, uh, which is this one. I became everything I ever wanted which is done, I think, almost two years ago. I remember being blown away. So I just want to break that down today. And for anyone who's new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Kev. I do video breakdowns, just filmmaking stuff. So anyone I cover on this channel, make sure you guys watch the video first, their videos first, give them some love, and then come back here and then watch this. I'm going to link her video down below. Just because I don't do enough justice to actually break down and break down the story so much as opposed to just like little tidbits of storytelling mixed in with filmmaking techniques if you want to call it that so let's get into it this is called i became everything i ever wanted mm, sound effects beautiful old school footage which looks like it's being projected everyone is always asked that one cliche on question as a kid what do you want to be when you grow up? So the reason why I said it's on a projector is because like you'll see like all this on the sides here. I'm using a new pen. So this today's screenwriting might be horrendous. You'll see like the. What looks like it's being projected on the walls on this side, on the sides. Which is pretty cool or why we exist. And for as long as I can remember, creating these videos has been my personal meaning as to why I exist. Initially, I thought it was on like a TV being, being on the wall, but it actually looks like she laid it over the like a whatever she's projecting onto a wall like this on the actual timeline and then edge feathered it out, maybe? Possibly? You're in the mustache mm. shop. Okay, let's show you around. I would hope my ideas come together a little bit better I love now. the, um, kind of like these moving overlays of, like, the pause button. Because it's moving, like, there's motion to it, it's not just, like, images or, like, PNG still images. Like, even these corner pieces as she's talking, like, the video stopped, it's moving, even the pause button, like, my ideas come together you know I mean? a little bit Adds a little now, bit of flavor. Considering the numerous amounts of years and sleepless okay, nights so... I've spent working on this passion of mine. That shot right there it was like tripping me out I, at first i was like is it on it is it on the table is it on a screen like this is like rotoscoped out or like cut out because it almost looks fake horrible I, I i literally tried i'm like i'm trying to outline the gopro or what i think is happening is this background is like a shot but it's also played on a screen if that makes sense like on a on a tv monitor and the reason why i say this is because one the it visually looks good but like when you play it and you play the, like you'll see the lights flickering so it does feel like it's a video being played see there's moments of flickering right like there's a light that's flickering so i feel like it is a, a pause video or video being played on a monitor on a tv and then these these objects are being placed on a sc on the actual monitor or the television set and being shot. So it's like being shot on as well. And the only reason why I say that is because you can see like a bit of a reflection here of like, you know, uh, and, and even here of like the string of the camera. Yeah, the numerous amounts. See here, like you could see the the reflection of this camera of years and sleepless and that the reflection of that camera so it almost feels like it's being placed on a mon on a tv or a tv screen or a monitor screen and that is getting fed this image that we see of the books and the photos and like the dvd so interesting also too i could be completely wrong when i do these things guys i don't know i don't know any of these creators i think the idea is to like if i is how I would think is being shot, and I would try to shoot it, but it could be completely wrong. But it's cool. Sound effects, pages turning, boom, 
Tight close ups right there. God, look at that timeline. What a transition. Music. Oh. Okay, beautiful shots. A little bit of build up. Back out of the timeline. Look at this timeline. It's a beautiful timeline. Let's just break that up real quick. Going into the timeline right here, there's like a like a little lens flare. And then you can see when it actually transitions from the screen to the actual text. Right? That lens flare really did pretty well at hiding that. But see how much like little things here too? Like the shots are like super faded behind in the background. To that one question. Okay, and the one thing I noticed here is one, there's like a variety of different shots, but also like if you see certain shots have a little bit of it's like fast zoom ins or keyframes that kind of move in that actually make it feel like I don't even know how to explain this movement, but it makes you feel like this. It's great. I'm it's great. People are really going to understand this, Kev. You know what I mean? Boom. It's like when you see slow-mo videos and you see speed ramping, this is essentially what it looks like speed ramping, but the ramp is so tight. It's like super, super close that it just, it just gives it enough like oomph. And it, it, it sounds so good with that. What is it? Strings? See how the wall here is, is blue. And then there's like a light here, yellow. So it's like, giving giving this like nice vibe right so she has definitely like lights colored lights you could actually see the blue lights at the bottom here too under her desk and like on her sweater in these past few months you can really I've see it here which she like some of my lowest points back in making videos it's the process of creating these videos very unpredictable They're like foreign. this like it stop motion reliable or stable source of income all the time which brings like, I don't know because it's being projected and it looks like it's video being played, but the images have that stop motion feel. Could be a number of ways you could do this. She could have actually cut these words out, you know, did actual stop motion, recorded it, exported as a video, put it onto the projector, project that onto the wall, and filmed this part. Or she could have done this in a program. Worth online is determined. I could go on and on about all these issues, but I'm very aware this problem. I like those cuts too. This is kind of like what I I do now. Like I jump cuts. Like, but I'm very on about all these issues, but I'm very aware this. It almost seems like she like had this whole speech. She cuts it up into jump cuts to make it look like she's talking a lot more. And then you see how much problems that she has. She goes through the numbers, so it like matches issues, matches it up. Boom. This probably just came across like I was complaining. So yeah, basically. My life is just a, a shit show right now. Hey, Natalie, just following up on that deal. I got an email back saying they need to post before the date. Unfortunately, there's mm. a lot of requirements in this project. The guidelines state you're not allowed to use Oof. that music. And the sound effects. Your last video didn't perform as well. They want to terminate the agreement. You need to post more on your channel. If you're not Beautiful. Consistent it's composition. You don't upload enough. <laughs> she just hit you with the... Banana hammock. Um, Listen to the, the the audio. Boom. Cue this. And what's wild is like, okay, it starts off on this piece of paper tight. There's just so much going on. Like you want to look at everything. Following up on that deal. I got it cuts on that note. And then you can start to see like, oh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Boom. It almost, it makes you feel like what she's talking about. Like, you know, creating and, and just like so much going on. Like her life is a shit show. Like you feel it email back saying they need to post before the date unfortunately there's a lot of requirements in this process so good and as you're doing this you're listening to the audio the voicemail you can hear her heartbeat boom solid a little in bit of the wind to find a solution i decided to go into the forest i kind of look like an idiot oh my God. but of course like i said before you know what I like about this too? The use of black. Not a lot of people use it. This like can just let you breathe for a bit and you're just listening. Really Goes to black. I kind of look like an idiot. Oh my God. 
But of course, like I said before, I can't seem to escape the problems. Was that like the five seconds? The process of creating has been hard to enjoy when there seems to be so many obstacles around every corner. Oh, what a tr Come on now. When there seems Let's run that so back obstacles. frame by frame. Boom. You could see that's when it changes. But I don't know if that was thought thought of where she was like, okay, I'm going to transition it when the windshield comes down. But that could just be one of those things when you're editing, you're like, I know what I'm going to do here. And that's probably the worst part of everything. It's almost like I can't even enjoy getting... I like the shots back to back of her lying down. I think what would have been cool too is imagine the shot of her lying down here. She got a shot of an aerial shot of her and it just did a match cut to like this... This part. Worst part of everything. Oh. It's almost like I can't even been cool. enjoy getting to pursue my dream career. I should be feeling like this shot. This is a phenomenal shot. The music just made me like I might cry right now. Is what's about to happen. That shot was just never mind. Never mind about me talking about my dream around every corner about this shot so when i was talking about match cutting so essentially it'd be like this what i was saying is like if the shot looked like this on the street cutting but this is just even way better it hits it hits a lot harder because i think sometimes i i forget that making videos full time is all i ever wanted growing up like this was my dream and now so like there's one thing about filming and getting wide shots, and I think this is like the importance of like having wireless mics. She's pretty far. She's getting like a full, a wide, establishing full body shot. Like you could see a lot of these things, but she's using her phone just to get good, clean audio. I know people like having shotgun mics on their cameras and vlogging and, and doing that kind of style. But like being further away like this just does something. I love this shot. The reason why is like the reveal of the gates, right? Boom, gates. Something about that composition. Make sure you guys watch that video in full. Thank you guys. If you guys enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Take it easy. Peace.